Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie, your intuitive reader. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today is the last installment of the Starseed series and we will be talking about and the Andromedans. Now this is going to be the last video, even though there are other Starseed types that we know of, such as the Orions and um, people from Polaris and whatnot, there isn't much information out there when it comes to the more rare star seeds and also I wanted to share with you ones that I knew some stuff about and I encountered instead of just a broad you know research of all of them because I'd rather give you guys personal information now keep in mind this isn't just my personal information like I said in all my other videos I've also done a lot of research online watching videos and looking up stuff so let's get into it so the Andromedans are from Andromeda. Now Andromeda is a neighboring galaxy to our Milky Way. It's about 2.5 million light years away. And this galaxy also houses the Pleiadians and the Lyrans, so that's an interesting tidbit. Now the Andromedans are mostly 12th dimensional beings, okay? So they're very high up there. Now they are very similar to Pleiadians in their manner of being not the physical manner of being because they look a lot different than the Pleiadians and we'll get into that however their purpose and mission here on earth is similar in the sense of loving healing energy also on their in their own galaxy on their own planet they are known to be master like not master lovers but they're, they unconditionally love that's the way I want to put it they unconditionally love whomever and even when the circumstance isn't in their favor they still love and the star seeds do that as well which we will get into that now they also have come to earth to spread science and to teach because they're master teachers and they're very advanced. They are, I read a reference point online um, that said that they are roughly 45,000 years ahead of us technologically when it comes to, well, technology, but also to their spirituality and their awakening. Um, obviously, that's just an estimate from someone, so take with it what you will. However, I do believe, of course, that they are a lot more advanced than we are. Now, they actually have gone, have undergone a lot of suffering over the years. And because of that, they want to be free. They have this idea of wanting to just be free. And so the star seeds carry that over as well. They're not big on societal structures. They want to break out of the mold. But anyways, in terms of their appearance, let's talk about their appearance. Oh, and I did want to mention, Andromedans are one of the more rare star seeds, which is why I'm stopping with this one, too, because there isn't that much information out there. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't do your research, and that doesn't mean you shouldn't try contacting these beings or what or whatnot, I mean to say, because that's how we get more information about them. Um, according to, again, someone else that I looked online, they said that there are roughly 800,000 Andromedans on planet Earth at this time, whereas there are millions of Pleiadians. So that kind of just gives you a reference point. And I, I resonate with that because I do believe that there are a lot of Pleiadians. And Andromedans, very similar-minded people, but I don't come across them as often. And it's interesting. So... Now, in terms of their appearance, they are also known as the Pleiadians are as being beautiful, except they're beautiful in a different way. They're not beautiful in the way that we see beauty because they don't look like us, and that does not mean they're not beautiful, right? They are also tall like the Pleiadians, but they look a bit elongated, and they have a bluish tint to their skin or a greenish tint. I've seen both. Now, they have this, like I said, they, they're very technologically advanced, but they're also advanced with their healing methods. So, one of the things that they really believe in is mind-body healing. So, they believe that if you're not okay mentally, you're not going to be physically. 
okay. So they might, I feel as if they, they do a lot of mental work in order to physically heal their ailments of their body, which is very interesting. So let's talk more about now the star seeds. This won't be as long of a video as the others, mainly because, like I said, I don't have much information, but I want to get the name out there of the Andromedans in case any of you resonate with it. So with the star seed types, if you're an Andromedan star seed or resonate with it, um, like I said, you are rarer and you have this ability to, to fight for justice, okay? To want to break out of the mold, to be unique, to be independent, to be free. You also might be a bit afraid and ha of the reptilian earth that we live on. And I have briefly mentioned this, but some people believe, and I believe too, that a lot of the people in power are reptilian and they don't have our best intentions within their hearts within yes within their hearts sorry i can't talk today so they feel very homesick andromedans all of star seeds tend to feel homesick right but the andromedans in particular feel homesick because they really recognize that the people in power on this planet are reptilian and it makes them very frightened because in andromeda they had a lot of run-ins with the reptilians and it was violent and it was very stressful and they underwent a lot of suffering so they have brought that trauma with them genetically to planet earth so yeah they've undergone a lot a lot of suffering now let's see if I have anything else that I want to mention. I'm going to look at my notes here. One second. I think that's it. I think I've covered everything that I wanted to say. I'm trying to think if I miss, missed something, but I don't think I did. Nope, I don't think so. So I guess, guys, that will be the end of our Star Seed series i hope you guys enjoyed it this was an introductory series so um if we want to delve into like this isn't the last time we're going to talk about star seeds okay we will look more into maybe direct experiences that i've had maybe direct experiences that you've had um, now that I have Patreon, I'm thinking of doing a podcast, mostly a solo podcast, but I would love to have one of you guys come on my podcast, right? And we can have a podcast and talk about our personal experiences connecting with these beings or our past lives as these beings. Um, we can also just delve in deeper to a particular being. Unfortunately, we probably won't be the Andromedans because, like I said, limited information on them. And I haven't even really met anybody that said I'm an Andromedan starseed. Maybe like one person. Um, but we're still putting this video out and we're still hoping that those who resonate, you know, make their name known as the Andromedans. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.